Chris Popper joined by Coach Mark Shields for the weekly MDI Coaches Show. And Coach, um, a big rivalry game this Friday night. You get ready to take on Ellsworth. And uh, you obviously uh, looking for a big win in the in the division. And Ellsworth looking for their, their big win. And they they've got their sights set on you. Talk a little bit about the importance of the of the rivalry, will you? Please. Yeah. Yep. Um, like we said earlier this week when we met, um, you know, rivalry games are, you know, they're exciting. They're fun. They're, you know, the kids get excited, the fans get excited, the communities get excited. Um, so I think it's a great atmosphere uh, for sure. And yeah, I mean, there's a long history between MDI and Ellsworth for multiple sports and, you know, that gets people intrigued and excited. And so, I mean, it looks like the weather is going to be fabulous Friday night, uh, which this will be aired then. And, uh, you know, so I think it's going to be a great night for high school football weather wise. And I think it'll be a great game between two teams that, yeah, I mean, we've dumped the last two games and Ellsworth's looking for their first victory. And so both teams are going to be really hungry for a win. Um, so that creates a great atmosphere if you're a football fan. Um, so I, I'm expecting it's going to be a, a fun game to watch. It, you know, whenever Ellsworth and MDI play, um, it's throw out the records, throw out um, whatever. I mean, whether it's basketball, softball, soccer, volleyball, football, it's just, it's it's very exciting. And it's it's two teams that, that like to beat each other. And, uh, you know, it, it, kids have become more, more friends or dating each other now. Um, you know, when, when you first started teaching, I mean, my gosh, it was, uh, and I did the first MDI game in basketball. I, I learned about the, the drip song. And I mean, it was just, it, it's, the rivalry's eased a little bit, but it's still important and fun. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe it's a little more cordial than it used to be, but, uh, um, and you're right. I mean, a lot of the kids uh, now with, you know, all this travel team stuff that's going on in multiple sports, um, there's, you know, there's more contact, I guess you could say, or um, with uh, kids from other schools. So they, they do know each other a little bit more. And so, um, yeah, and with that being said, I, you know, I think both teams will be very re respectful to one another. And, um, you know, I think both teams are going to play hard, but play the right way. And, uh, you know, when the game's over, you shake hands and, you know, you move on. So it's, uh, you know, it is, it's going to be fun and exciting. I know our kids are really looking forward to it. I'm sure the Ellsworth kids are as well. Um, talk a little bit about game day traditions that MDI has. I mean, have they? Wear the wear the uniforms to school. What what happens game day? Yep. So game day, the kids will wear their game jerseys around school, which is you know that's a great high school tradition for for many many years. Yeah. Um, you know, we talk to our kids a lot about control what you can control and uh, some of the things leading up you know to the game for sure. Even on you know the night before. Um, that practice, we want that to be very crisp, even though it's, um, you know, it's a little more mental than the other days. Uh, and then we talk to them about, you know, proper diet and hydration and, and that sort of stuff, getting themselves to bed at a, a decent time. If you're playing on a Thursday night, uh, sorry, on a Friday night, Thursday night, you know, you shouldn't be up, you know, till 1 a.m. in the morning and, um, and then get up, have a good breakfast. Uh, have a good lunch, you know, a healthy lunch. And then we talk to our kids about around two or three in the afternoon, they should be eating something, um, you know, lighter, uh, but they want to get something in there, a, a small meal. I always say, to say a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, uh, because if they don't eat, you know, say they eat at noontime for lunch, kickoffs at seven, game ends around nine, nine thirty. I mean, the tank's going to be empty. So, um, you know, we, we, harp on that a lot with our kids and uh, be smart about that and to hydrate throughout the day for sure. And, and just go about your day. 
Um, focus on what you need to do, compartmentalize your, your day. And, uh, you know, everybody kind of has the butterflies and you're excited the day of a game for sure. But get through your school day, do what you need to do, be productive, and uh, and then we'll get ready to travel if we need to travel or if our home, um, the kids normally would go home um, and then come back for a home game. But many times when we're on the road, they would just stay here after school and wait for the bus. Uh, yeah, I mean, 845, you don't want to be running out of energy in the fourth quarter, especially the way the games have gone lately. I mean, it's been whoever's got the ball last has got a chance to score, win the game. Yeah, wow. definitely. I mean, you look at, well, our first three opponents. I mean, Spruce Mountain came down uh, to the last, basically the last play. They had the final drive and we were able to hold them, you know, defensively and get the win. And then, and then Waterville, same thing. They had the final drive and they were able to get a first down. <laughs> and then, you know, last week against Yarmouth, that was just a battle all night long, back and forth. And both teams were really wearing down by the end. I mean, you put that many points on the board, people are getting tired. So it, it is important. All that stuff's important. Um, you know, we talked to the kids a lot about that. And there's certain things you can't control. You know, there's going to be whatever, your opponent, the weather. There's just things you can't control. But we try to control as much as possible. And uh, the kids really do buy into that. What about uh, injuries? I, I You shared with me the, the injury report earlier in the week. I mean, my goodness, it's like the walking wounded right now. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I was thinking about that. A lot of seasons that I've coached, you usually have a week or two where you're like, oh, my gosh, what just happened? Um, so we have some guys that are out. Uh, some of the guys are younger kids for our, our JV <coughs> team. Um, and then we do have some varsity stars that will be out uh, Friday night versus Ellsworth, uh, Tyler Lunt. Uh, he's a kid that. He usually comes in off of the bench on both sides of the ball, uh, but he's been real productive for us. Uh, Aiden Jeffers, uh, he's dealing with a bicep strain. Um, we're not sure. He's sort of day to day. Uh, unfortunately, we lost Cal Hodgson for the season, which, you know, he was a starter on our defense. And he uh, he actually is having surgery. He had surgery this morning. So uh, we'll find out more there. But it looks like he's done for the season. And that's typical. You know, it's funny. I was watching the morning news today and uh, they were doing a segment on a there's a, a woman coach down to Winslow right now. Uh, she's a phys ed teacher down there. And she's coaching football. And sure enough, I saw number 33 and he's walking around and he's got a sling or a cast. Or, you know, it's just typical for, for most teams this time of year. It's a contact sport. It's a physical sport. And kids are going to get injured. And that's just part of it. And there's no excuses. I mean, it's just what it is, is what it is. And, uh, you know, as the, the old Belichick saying, next man up. And and that's true. I mean, it's just the next kid that's uh, in line to step in. And uh, we expect them to work hard and, and, and do their job and, and play hard. So that's just where we're at right now. What have you worked on this week? I mean, obviously, ball control or hanging on to the ball is imperative. I mean, you, you don't want to give somebody an extra possession. Um, and that's been an issue the last couple of games. Yep. So we evaluated now that we're about halfway through the season, we evaluated our team and, you know, just thinking about things we could get better at. Um, and for sure, the I mean, the, the big thing that came up was obviously controlling, I mean, uh, protecting the football, uh, you know, too many turnovers. We just, you know, you're not going to win games if you turn the ball over. And on the flip side of that, I was thinking, wait a second, we're, turning the ball over how many turnovers have we gotten from our opponents and we only have one we were against waterville there was a two-point conversion and aiden grant had an interception on that um you know what now that i think about it, it might have been against spruce mountain but yeah. anyway we have one turnover uh so our defensive takeaways are poor so one thing we worked on hard this week was working on stripping the ball punching it out, that sort of thing, uh, something we hadn't really worked on prior to this week. Uh, so that's what really is showing up on the stat sheets. Um, and then, you know, of course, you can get better, you know, at everything. Um, but uh, we worked real hard this week also on our pass game, getting better at that, um, you know, getting more guys involved, being, uh, you know, not so one or two dimensional, trying to get more uh, hands on the ball for our series. So 
Yeah, so it's been it's been a productive week. It's been a good week. The kids have worked hard, and uh, you know tonight will be our Thursday night practice where you know we'll go through our special teams again and look at our offense and defense one more time. And and uh, when we're on the road, I don't know if we talked about this, but when we're our away games, our Thursday night we do yoga. So uh, this will be oh. our session. Yeah, this will be our third session for yoga. Uh, we did yoga <laughs> before we went to uh, Spruce Mountain. Yeah, uh, we did yoga before we went to Yarmouth, and we're going to be doing yoga tonight before we head up to Ellsworth. I, I you know, it's funny because I remember was it four or five years ago that you did was it yoga or stretching? Um, it was yoga with Jackie Carroll. It was yeah, her son Jimmy played for us. It was the year we went to the championship, um, and we saw some major benefits from it. So uh, we're we're back doing that. So the way it works for us is. If we have a home game, we always have a team dinner Thursday night. Right. But where we don't have a team dinner when we're on the road, um, we're doing yoga those nights. So tonight would be a yoga night. Are you uh, participating in the yoga <laughs> as well? It's funny. I did back in 2016, but this year, it's funny. The lady came and um, there were two ladies that, that are helping us do it. And um Nate Olson's mom, um, she sort of organized it and uh, shared it, and she brought an assistant. And we had the kids last Thursday. We had that real bad torrential downpour. Yes. Uh, yes. So the kids were in the gym. So I was in there. I was kind of peeking in and out. And there was a lot of moaning and groaning. And, you know, I, she <laughs> put them through the their paces for sure. And I guess she told uh, Coach Arnold that she was going to try to tone it down maybe a little bit this time because she thought she really hurt the guys, but I think it was awesome. I loved watching it. I like I like to see them in pain, but not me. But, you know, it's funny. I mean, you you and I have done this a long, long time, and I mean, there were eight, ten years ago. I mean, when it was conditioning time in August, you were you used to do the the conditioning. Now you've gotten older, wiser, and. Uh, <laughs> You're just yelling at the kids instead. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, honestly, right up until last year, um, I ended up hurting myself. And I think it was during conditioning in football. We were jumping bags. Um, and I ended up compressing my spine in my neck. Um, oh, you had, I remember you had neck surgery. Yep. And I think, I mean, I've always been a runner, you know, pounding the pavement. Um, I don't look like a runner, but I do... I, I did run for many, many years, and my uh, doctor um, finally said probably all that pounding all over those years on the, the pavement and then just jumping the bags by the end uh, probably just did it in. So it collapsed, um, you know, one of those vertebrae, and it was crushing my nerves down my right arm, which was pretty painful. Right. Uh, so, yeah, I had neck surgery uh, last October. So, yeah, about a year from now, I was pretty miserable. Um so I had neck surgery and I got away from uh, that sort of thing, the the pounding of the body. So I've been doing other things, although I have to admit, since football started, I uh, I kind of find excuses not to exercise at the moment. But uh, um, I'm hoping, you know, once the season, you know, we wrap that up, I'll I'll get back doing some. I've just been biking and, you know, on the stepper, but trying to do some low impact sort of activities. All right. Well, thanks for joining us and I uh, wish you the best of luck on uh, Friday night. I think I'll have to have my maroon and green shirt that. Uh, yeah. 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 We, we know who you really be rooting for, Chris. Uh, uh, you don't need to say it's. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, coach. Have a great day. All right. You too. Thank you.